Lesson 66 is about multiplying mixed numbers. Our first question that we have asks us to multiply 2 and 2 thirds times 4. When we want to multiply problems that have mixed numbers, there might be one mixed number, there might be two mixed numbers, there could be more. We've got a three-step process. The first step in this process is to change to improper fractions or change mixed numbers to improper fractions. So, if we look at this problem that we have, we're going to change mixed numbers to improper fractions. Step one, we need to change two and two thirds to an improper fraction. We're going to multiply three times two. Well, three times two, that's six. Plus two more is eight. So we're going to get eight over three. And we're going to multiply that times four over one, because four is the same thing as four over one. And we need to have a numerator and denominator when we multiply fractions. Step two, well, step two is to multiply. So we can go ahead with step two on the left. Step two, if we multiply, we're going to get eight thirds times four over one. Well, we know that eight times four is 32. And three times one is three. So we get 32 thirds. Now step three, step three is to reduce. And when we reduce these problems, we can say reduce or simplify. We're going to change 32 thirds into a mixed number. So 32 thirds, we know what that means is 32 divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 3 one time. We get 3 with nothing left over and we bring down our 2. 3 never goes into 2, so we get a 0. 0 and 2 left over, so we get 10 and 2 out of 3 left over. So we've got our answer. Our answer for this problem must be 10 and 2 thirds. When we follow that three-step process of changing mixed numbers to improper fractions, then multiplying, then reducing, we can figure out our product to any multiplication problem with mixed numbers. Let's look at our next example. Here we have two and a half times one and one third. So two and a half, well, two times two is four, plus one is five. So with that step one, changing to improper fractions, we're gonna get five halves times, remember the dot means to multiply, one and one third, well, one times three is three, plus one more is four, so we get four thirds. Now step two is to multiply five times four, that's 20, 2 times 3, that's 6, very good, we've got 26, now we need to reduce that or simplify it. So 20 over 6 is the same thing as 20 divided by 6, well we know 6 goes into 20 3 times, that's 18 with 2 left over, so we get 3 and 2 6. Now 3 and 2 6, 3 and 2 6, we'll write it a little bit bigger, we can reduce that by cutting 2 sixths in half to be 3 and 1 third, because 1 is half of 2 and 3 is half of 6. We always want to fully reduce our fractions when possible. We've got our final answer. We went through that process of changing our mixed numbers to improper fractions, multiplying, and then simplifying down to our product of 3 and 1 third. Lesson practice will be on page 353. Make sure you've got your notes complete, and I'll see you during our next class.